Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Jim. Here's your RV10 update. I got the flap motor installed. I got the uh, safety wire hole drilled that uh, is supposed to secure the nut at the end there at the uh, rod end in case that nut comes loose, the jam nut. Um, got the uh, all the hardware located and that's part of the problem or part of what I think is good to keep doing something every day is uh, I try to locate hardware and if I don't install it like it is here I at least uh, put it in a little baggie or something and tape it to the parts so that I don't have to go hunting for it the next time. Um, no real big tricks on this. Uh, pretty easy, just follow the plans. Um, I use the lathe to make the bushings or the spacers so you can see them down there on both sides of that uh, flat motor mount uh, to center it there and then you make two more for back there where the rod bearing hooks into the torque tube. Um, nothing else I can think of that's real, uh, real uh, big issue here. It's kind of a pain in the butt getting your hand down in there to get the two bolts uh, in the horn end at, at, at the outside. Here's where the outside of it is. Um, I tested the motor with the 11 volt uh, lipo that I had laying around. Um, seemed like there was one thing. I guess. Uh, been a while since I posted a video and uh, I've said before that I'm not the best person to try to help uh, give people advice on staying motivated that's the big problem I think that most people run into you just lose your motivation or you get overwhelmed uh, because it's uh, if you think about it as a big project as you know I'm building an airplane it's just that'll get to you uh, just go out there and do something every day uh, try to break it down into little projects like this this was much easier for me to think about this then I'm trying to build an airplane that's just too big and you're gonna get swamped with thoughts of what was I thinking how is this ever gonna fly um, here's uh, part of the uh, tubing uh, this would be for an and four bolt qu quarter inch and I just stuck that in the lathe and, uh, and then that way I can measure it with parting blade and part it off to get the length right and then I can face it down if it's too long but uh, that's it for today see you next time